On May 14th, the Guangdong Military Theater and Guangdong Provincial Party Committee held a joint wartime planning meeting. It was allegedly the CCP's mobilization and deployment meeting at the provincial level to transition the country to a wartime administrative system. And the recording of the meeting was leaked a day later. What was discussed at the meeting? Was it real? And how should we interpret the leak of such a detailed recording? Hello everyone, welcome to Lay's Real Talk, I'm Lay. The recording is from an actual meeting. Let me tell you what's discussed there before we get to the analysis. The meeting was attended by all the top leaders of both the party and the military in the province, including the Guangdong Military Theater Commander, Major General Zhou He, the Political Commissar, Major General Huang Shanchun, Provincial Party Secretary Li Xi, Deputy Secretary and Governor Wang Weizhong, and two Vice Governors. The meeting had three agendas. One, establishing a joint military-civilian command system. Two, implementing a wartime work mechanism. Three, preparation for wartime management and control. Guangdong Party Secretary Li Xi said, the priority is to shift from economic growth to a strategic military victory. By following the principle of military-civilian integration with the emphasis on the military, production and manufacturing must first meet the war needs. This includes retaining workers, preventing the breakdown of supply chains, and ensuring the supply of critical strategic materials. In terms of ground defense operations, Guangdong province is tasked with building 1,358 teams of various types of detachments, recruiting 140,000 militiamen, securing 953 ships and 1,653 sets of unmanned equipment, as well as procuring airports, docks, shipyards, emergency transfer centers, and civilian facilities such as grain depots, hospitals, blood centers, oil and gas stations. The meeting specified the recruitment of new conscripts, veterans, and specialists, totaling 15,500 people, and the procurement of 64 10,000 ton roll-on, roll-off ships, 38 aircraft, 588 train cars, and so on. It discussed utilizing Huawei and Tencent and other civilian networks to support combat while drawing network specialists from large state-owned companies, such as Southern Power Grid and Guangzhou Metro Group, to protect key industries, financial, energy, power, transportation, and IT. The meeting emphasized the importance of overseas mobilization. The earliest Chinese immigrants in North America primarily came from the Guangdong region, known as Canton. The province is to tap into its overseas resources to aid war preparation. The meeting suggests a hybrid military-civilian tactic, which in Chinese is described as covering up military purposes with civilian purposes and using a civilian operation to aid military ones. This approach will be used to help the CCP acquire high-end chips, precision instruments, special materials, and materials in short supply. The goal is to ensure the regime continues to have access to global strategic resources through its overseas operations. The meeting also raised the possibility of using China's space advantage to support military operations and discussed how to rescue a possible nuclear leak and the penalties for those who refuse to be enlisted. The recording was released by a U.S.-based Chinese social media personality who is believed to have an intelligence background. The person said the recording was top secret and was smuggled out by compatriot Chinese military personnel. So how do we make sense of this recording? Dong Guangping, a former mainland public security officer, said that joint military-civilian meetings, especially in coastal provinces, are held every year when geopolitics get tense. He thinks it's possible that the CCP deliberately leaked it to gain diplomatic leverage. He said if the CCP really wanted to start a war, it would be absolutely top secret. Li Zhengxiu at Taiwan's National Policy Research Foundation 
said it was difficult to judge the authenticity of the recording. The CCP has always wanted to take over Taiwan and has conducted many wartime simulation exercises, and this could be one of them. According to Li, the CCP's mode of operation revealed in the recording is quite old-fashioned. Why do people say that China panicked after the Russian invasion of Ukraine? One of the reasons is that the PLA was fashioned after the Soviet Red Army, and the regime was alarmed by the setback Russia faced in Ukraine. Li added that this mode of large military group operation is not suitable for a cross-ocean attack. Alexander Liao, a China expert, said the CCP's mechanism to switch from peacetime to wartime has always existed but hasn't been in use for many years. With the wartime mechanism in place, there is no doubt that the danger in the Taiwan Strait has increased. But Liao doesn't believe that the CCP will immediately go to war. It's possible that the CCP will normalize the state of wartime preparation to paralyze outside attention. He said that the CCP couldn't keep the outside world from knowing its war preparation. But when conducting such exercises every month or every two months, after a long time, the world will get used to it and the guard goes down. It's a psychological manipulation similar to the PLA jets flying over Taiwan waters, which has been ongoing since September 2020. After 20 months, people have become used to it and are less alert. When people have accepted it as norm, the PLA has thus achieved a military advantage when it does attack. I believe that the meeting was not a high-level secret meeting as claimed. I noticed the background noise was from a video control room. You can hear the control giving orders to various cameras. This tells me it's a large meeting with an audio-video feed that involves multiple cameras. The speeches were scripted and sounded formal, so it doesn't strike me as being a secretive meeting behind closed doors, but a conference involving a great many officials. The tape mentioned another meeting held on April 8th, in which the assignment of command at all levels was made for the province. So such meetings are likely held frequently and in other regions as well. Based on everything I read, there's a strong belief that Xi Jinping is using wartime preparations as a strategy to retain power and centralize control as he faces mounting opposition within the party. With so many internal crises threatening his power, she needs an external crisis to legitimize his absolute control. But it doesn't necessarily mean he will start a war. However, his opposition, the Jiang faction, wants him to start a war right away and lose. So Xi's enemies may have leaked the recording. What I found interesting is that the person who released the recording said in his YouTube video that he and his source know everything that Xi Jinping does and says. His statement confirms that Xi's team did not deliberately release the recording. It must have come from Xi's enemies. One commentator said U.S. intelligence may have released the recording through social media to send a warning to the CCP. I tend to believe that Xi's opposition within China released the tape. Even though the Chinese leader appears to be actively preparing for war, I think he's careful not to start it involuntarily. He uses war preparations as a strategy to stamp out opposition. His political enemies, however, want him to start a war, so he will fail. You can watch my video called Tricked in the Infighting to get an idea. I think Xi Jinping's path to a third term is getting more and more treacherous. In my next video, I will talk about his opposition and the outlook on his third term and discuss if there's an alternative to him. Stay tuned. Lastly, I want to thank everyone who joined my live Q&A session. I prepared for all sorts of questions and scenarios, but didn't prepare to break down into tears. But your overwhelming support made it memorable. You saw the real lay from Lay's Real Talk. That's all for today. Thank you. See you next time.